everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from bp for You, And today we're going to be talking about a fun little tool in Photoshop Elements and it's called the Magic Extractor and it's going to allow us to take these photos or those flowers and put them along the road here in this desert. We'll call it, we'll call it Texas or Arizona. I don't know where it's at. Anyway, the tool here is under image. It's called Magic Extractor. And this is a fun tool and it's quick and it's easy to use and you can get a really nice selection from it. So to get started here, I'm going to use the foreground brush and I'm going to grab a little bit of a bigger brush, as big a brush as I can grab actually. And I'm just gonna start kind of painting in here where I want my image to be cut out from. And I am going to do just a quick outline around the around the selection, making sure that I try not to get any of that um, wooden background in my in my red. I'm trying to be extra careful about that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. And see that only took us a few seconds to do. It doesn't have to be completely, totally and 100% amazingly beautiful perfect. Okay, I just want to bring that down and just doodle around here on the inside. That's good enough. In the background, again, I'm just gonna sort of doodle around, oops. Control Z, Command Z, if you're on a Mac. I'm not going to include these leaves, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint those out. Same over here, I'm not going to include those, just gonna paint those out. Since they look a little bit different, I'm gonna fine tune those just a little bit because they look a little bit different than that wooden background. I don't want elements to get confused. Just grabbing this around here, just like so. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush I'm going to come in here to these middle places that might be considered a little bit hard to reach. I am going to kind of dot this in here as well between these petals, telling elements that no, that's not supposed to be included in my selection. Just one of those quick little things that I can do that will help me out after I generate my preview to help me get the best selection possible. Around here I should be pretty okay. Grab that in there. All right, so let's go ahead and we are going to, I think that probably is pretty good here. There's a lot of texture on this wood, so I'm just being a little extra cautious. Let's generate our preview. So it's just taking a second for Elements to go ahead and work its magic. You can see we didn't have to paint the entire picture. Um, by no means. Actually, I think that looks awesome. Let's go ahead and click OK and see how that looks here. We did it. I don't see any background here that needs to be fixed. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this up. I'm going to pull this in. 
I'm going to click on this box in the corner, make sure this constraint proportions box is checked. I'm going to start transforming this down. And I'm going to bring it over here because this is where I'm going to want it. And again, this would be huge for flowers. So I'm going to bring that down. And there, I just planted flowers along the road in the desert. And so I could um, keep bringing that in from over here by clicking and dragging like we did before, or I can duplicate this layer. And I can add these flowers going the whole way down the road. As they go down the road, they're probably going to get a little smaller. But you could keep doing that as you went to create a nice um, flower in the desert. And you see how easy that tool was to use. And because we took the extra time to go in between the little petals and make those polka dots, we got it right the first time and it looks great. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing!